But yeah, expedition started, we're all trained, we're all packed, we're all ready to go. arrived at Oluwe and Kalani School. Uh, that quite we've just uh, <laughs> had a treacherous road trip up the uh, local road from Caggiardo but we've made it. Jackson the driver's done a great job. We've just seen a few giraffes, zebras, gazelles. Um, an eagle on the tree eagle. which Mr Wales have thought was a sheep. <laughs> um, so yes we're just arriving now. Everyone's looking forward to it. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi guys, my name's Martin. I'm a World Challenge Expedition Leader, but uh, as I explained to all of you guys earlier, the expedition is yours. Um, I'm here just to make sure things don't go wrong um, and hopefully things go very right for you. Here on Project, uh, working with the school at the moment, we've just got here. Um, it's a little bit chilly, that's why I'm wearing this jacket. Um, but it's been a beautiful day and we've loved meeting the, uh, the school. Tomorrow we're gonna set about building something amazing um, and we hope to achieve something very worthwhile in the three or four days that we're here. Hi, uh, we're now day two officially in Kenya. We've arrived at the school today uh, and we set up camp and we've just had our first meal at the school. We've met lots of girls and they've told us all of their names but I can't remember all of them. Uh, so far everything's going well. Uh, we arrived yesterday morning, so Saturday morning, and headed to our first campsite. We've seen some zebras and giraffes in the world. That was very exciting. Great welcoming, as we expected. Uh, introduced ourselves to the pupils and to the staff. And then the rest of the day has been spent planning the project, which we've now got a few ideas for, so we can get on with that tomorrow. Uh, so it's 
just about coming up seven o'clock here uh, and it, the temperature's dropped, just getting dark. And now we've had our first evening meal here, which was interesting. So we're just going to spend the evening with the girls and then we'll be heading, heading into bed hopefully soon because we've got a 6.30 wake up tomorrow. We'll update in the next couple of days. So welcome to our first night at Loikalani School. It is the 15th of July 2018. This is the third time the college has visited the school site. It originally came out in 2014 where the partnership was developed with GE General Electric in Bracknell where Mr Hawthorne who led the project, Mr Granger the principal and Miss Howes came out for a small expedition with just three members of staff. That was followed up in 2016 when Alex Wurzel, Sarah Howes and Andrew Stevens came out here with 12 to 6 form pupils and this is the first stage of our third expedition where we have 21 young people that are continuing the work with Aloy Kalani School and building that partnership. Lots of work takes place here but predominantly it's about building relationships. Relationships between young people, our pupils and their pupils and building those connections to widen people's perspectives and their context and basically understand the world around them a little bit. Next week as well we've got a second cohort coming through with Miss Howes, Mr Swan and Mr Brown. So a very exciting time. Uh, it looks like we're going to be trying to do this every two years and today we started our work on the project where we're going to build them an outdoor classroom or an amphitheatre with some covering. So very excited times. Everyone's excited including the pupils at Garth and Aloy Kalani. So let's see how it goes. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> It is ten past six. We've just woken up. We've just woken up to this amazing view over here. Bit of a sunrise. The girls have been up for an hour. Mental. They start uh, revising at six till ten p.m. and have lessons from eight till four. Look, it's going great. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, seven, seven stones. We estimate uh, seven stones an hour. This job's going to be done in two days. Two weeks. <laughs> it's about two weeks. We've done great today. We've built a fire pit. Uh, we're starting to paint the dormitories. We've moved stone. We've got materials in. We've moved sand, cement, aggregate. The guys have dug an amazing trench. And we've moved stones and more stones. And what we're building here is a really nice sitting, viewing, outdoor classroom area that has the most amazing view. Um, and what we're hoping is if we have time, we're gonna put a, a sheltered screen over it so these guys can use it in the, in the height of summer. So, you know, sometimes the classrooms get really hot. It's just nice to get outside. Uh, we're gonna put a little podium here for the teacher to stand. And possibly in the evening, they can use this as a place to just to tie and sit down and reflect and, um, and just chill out for the rest of the day. So uh, progress is good and we're hoping for great progress tomorrow. So stay tuned, folks. Today has been uh, it's quite a successful day, getting the garth hedge done, getting all the stones laid, doing all of that, doing all that. But I would, overall the team has become a lot better in the afternoon, working together, getting to know one another. And the team cohesion has been great and I'm loving it. The school so welcoming and letting us use the resources. It's been brilliant. It's been one heck of an experience and I'd recommend it to any other person. So a couple more days to go and we're going to do it do this project, get what we, do, what we want done, done, and that's it. Favourite thing so far? Or probably lifting sand, getting it, getting it to, done, getting the project done, doing all of that. It's been quite enjoyable. Just coming up now. 
everyone's still in their tents, we've got a slightly later start today, but we've got a very busy day of work ahead of us. Made a bit of start on Garth Henge yesterday, the majority of that is happening today. It's still quite cold in the morning. beautiful view to wake up to. Day four, it's hot. <laughs> My nose is red, we're hot. We are just walking back from the Maasai meat camp. Huge privilege to um, be able to experience that. Day four at Aloy Kalan. It's actually pronounced Aloy Kalan, it's not Aloy Kalan, which we didn't know before. Um, if you look behind over my right shoulder, Garth Henge is slowly being built. Uh, this morning has been aligning the bricks producing the concrete to ensure that it stays there for 150,000 years. Uh, but yeah, that should be pretty much done and dusted by the end of the day. And then we're gonna look and try to put some roofing over the top of it. So the Aloy Kalam pupils have got some shade so they can have their lunch in, in hot days like this so it's not too bad. Uh, and then we've also done some painting down the dormitory. So if you look over my left shoulder, except for Alana Gallo's big bun, uh, that, that, that unit down there has been fully painted. So we need a second coat there. And once those two jobs are done, we'll be in the classroom and supporting the learning. Digging out. That's pretty much it. It's 6.45 in the morning. And there's a sunrise. Isn't it cool? It's 6.30 in the morning. We've got, got 16 holes to dig, this is number 9. Got nothing else to say. <laughs> So we're 
on the second stage of our project. Uh, we've built the wall now and the next stage we are cutting sticks to put up a roof. Progress is good.
It's currently 10 o'clock in Kenya. We are halfway up a mountain. Just changed my pants. Mr. Anderson, <laughs> Mr. Anderson's just changing to short. Everyone is really excited for the next part of this journey. Look at their faces. Woo! And that's where we're going. Yeah, still got a long way to go. Center of gravity there. Here's a view. I don't know why I just turned around because it's a 360 camera, so it doesn't really matter. After the walk, we're back to the Fish Eagle campsite for our last night before heading off on a safari tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see you at the end. Yes! Whenever I get gloomy with the state of the world, I think about the arrivals gate at Heathrow Airport. Here we are in the middle of Kenya, where they've somehow set up a big screen and they've got very similar shopping centers to the Lexicon. Everyone's got everything except for Finn that didn't bring his fanny pack. So uh, once that's collected, we are good to go. See you in Abu Dhabi, maybe in Heathrow Airport. Depends how much Adam stalks me. This is the best bit, this is Louis, you can't see. You can go to bed without a Adam? <laughs> For a lot of gallows, big bun. Okay, slow down, slow down. <laughs> <laughs>